Hi, my name is Steve Houston. Welcome to my channel. We talk about all things financial services on this channel, but that's not what today is all about. Today is Memorial Day, so happy Memorial Day to all the veterans out there. Please do remember our veterans, how they fought and died so you and I could live in a free country, prosper, and raise our families in a safe environment that sometimes, unfortunately today, in today's political environment, people forget. I was watching a TV show yesterday where he was interviewing young people, asking them if they knew why we celebrated Memorial Day. One or two out of a hundred knew what this day means, and to me, that's sad. So to those of you who do not know, here it is. It commemorates all men and women who have died in military service for the United States. That's what it's about, and we celebrate it every year. My dad was a veteran. Uh, he was served in... Uh, the military was at Pearl Harbor. So thank the veterans today. Thank a veteran anytime you see one in uniform. That's the bottom line. For their sacrifice so that we can live in a free country, safe and secure, and what I consider the land of opportunity. Look, here's the current situation in the United States in May of 2020. We're moving to really post-pandemic madness, where we're beyond the kind of coming out. We're still trying to figure out how to, you know, get things kind of reopened, which is somewhat surprising, considering the fact that there's so many people that are hurting right now. So many people that have worked their lives to build their business. You would think that they would be rushing back to to, to reopen. They're not. They're, they're they're kind of slow rolling this thing. Many businesses will never reopen. I heard a stat yesterday that. Uh, 12 to 15 percent of the restaurants across the United States have closed and closed permanently. I saw yesterday Pier 1 is closing all their stores nationwide. Nordstrom's is closing a lot of their stores. This shutdown, whether you like it or not, or agree with it or not, has caused serious damage to our economy. The current U.S. unemployment rate is 14.7 percent, highest since the Great Depression, 38 million uh, unemployed. Some states are seeing up to 30% unemployment. Most people are struggling out there in, in the United States. It's unfortunate. You know, I've talked on these videos the last couple of years and just in, as I travel across the country, I talk to people about opportunities that exist, for, that exist for our, uh, the common people, the people that can't stroke a check for a million dollars, McDonald's franchise or Starbucks franchise or those type of things. We need an opportunity that we can start with very little money but can grow it into a million dollar enterprise. And uh, often what I heard in those times is that, you know, my wife says this or my husband says this and we need a secure job and with a secure paycheck. Well, unfortunately, the chickens came home to roost. We realized many of those people that I talked to years ago will call me up today and wishing they had listened to me years ago when I told them that there is no security in a job. The job security lies within ourselves, right? It lies in our ability to, to create our income. It lies in our skill set so that no one can take the job away from us. We own, not rent, our income. You know, we live in the greatest country in the world, the land of the free and the land of the opportunity, and yet a small percentage of people thrive through the very same crisis or adversity. In other words, we're all going through the same thing right now. Now, given there are some exceptions where people haven't lost their jobs, but many people have. In fact, I'd say most people have, right? There are some, you know, essential businesses, the news media, unfortunately, they're still uh, out there working today and sharing the bad news with us. But again, some people thrive uh, even now in our industry. And while some people, while dealing with the very same crisis, or adversity, which right now is the COVID-19. Why is that? How do people, some people become the exception? You see, crisis causes chaos, and it causes uncertainty. And uncertainty causes panic, fear, and fear alone is paralysis, right? I mean, many people have said the real virus in this, in this country right now is the fear uh, of the pandemic. And people are just kind of paralyzed. Most then resort to what we call the default mode, the reaction mode. And whatever comes at them or surrounds them, you know, it can controls their attention. Angela and I joke about it often. We say, oh, look, the squirrel. You know, people have a hard time focusing on one thing for any given length of time. And that's not a good thing. And I've said the same thing to my, to my granddaughter. Figure out what you want to do in life and make sure that every decision that you make going forward is congruent with that end goal in mind, right? Those who are the exception proactively take back that control. Well, here's the trick. The trivial is going to always surround you and I, right? We're, you know, I, we get it here day in, day out. The world's full of it, 
and it's everywhere you turn. It's not what you turn away from that is the key. It's what you turn towards. It really means that you're finding, prioritizing, and planning what is vital. Figuring out exactly what you should focus on, uh, but how do we do that? Look, how do you figure out what's most important, particularly in such unpredictable times that we're living in? Here's the key. you got to have a plan, and you got to stick to it. This is why I talk so much about getting a mentor or a coach that has lived a life of success in the area of success that you're passionate about to guide you and coach you and teach you the skills that you need to succeed here in this industry long term. It doesn't do any good to deal with somebody that's a recruiter that talks a good talk, but it's only after the money that you can make them, and they teach you from a book. Right, that they were given when they sat down there. You know, here's here's what you got to do. You go out, you got to go out, you got to get you got to get 15 people doing 50 thousand dollars a month. I know you've never done it. You really don't want to do it because that that you don't want to be a producer. You want to be a recruiter. You want to create thousands of people so somebody can make money off your back. That's not a mentor or coach, right? That's the guy that you know, fake it till you make it kind of guy, which I despise. You got to find somebody. It doesn't you know somebody may be a successful business person, you know, in in a retail store, but we're in the insurance business. You've got to find somebody that is a coach and mentor, like I said, in the area uh, of success that you're passionate about, which right in here is financial services. It's whole life insurance, term insurance, mortgage session, final expense. It may be dental, uh, vision, health, whatever it is, someone that can guide you and teach you and plug you into a, a time-tested and proven system of success that you can follow. That's the key that most people don't understand. It's got nothing to do with geographics. It has nothing to do with does your coach or mentor live in your same town or live across the street or can you go jump in his car? It, you know, look, it, it, you know, people that have professional sports coaches, uh, they don't live in the same areas. Sometimes they travel to them, you know, if it's one-on-one. And we do the same thing with our agents. We meet up, you know, two or three times a year for face-to-face one-on-one. One, nothing better than that. But that day-to-day stuff can be done over a phone. It can be doing just like this, virtual, you know, virtually. Uh, it can be done on, you know, Zoom meetings or whatever. You know, so that's the key to success here. You know, Jim Rohn told us many years ago, and Jim Rohn's passed away now. But he told us profits are better than wages. Wages will make you a living. Profits can make you a fortune. It's a bit difficult to get rich on wages, but anybody can get rich on profits. And I was thinking back at the beginning of this video, and, and that's really the difference between you know, job security and an opportunity, right? Job security, you're, gonna, you're only going to have so many jobs. And as soon as you, you can add, you know, I, I asked my granddaughter last year, we were in Florida, you know, what is she going to do when she has more bills than that one job that she has? Well, pay her enough money to pay those bills. Her instant reaction was, I'll go get another job. I'll have two jobs. Okay, well, what happens when that's not the money? Well, I'll get another job. Well, okay, you can only have so many jobs in a day, right, in the course of a week. There's only so many hours in the course of the day. And when you max them out the maximum hours that you can work, and you're getting a paycheck as you're working, you know, for an hourly wage, what then? The way to success is an opportunity so that you can scale yourself and maximize the opportunity and grow your income. And it has nothing to do, especially when in our industry, when you're able to build a residual-based income and a passive-based income, that over time you've got money coming in. Whether or not you get out of bed that particular day really doesn't matter. Then you start owning your income, right, rather than renting it, and no one can take it away from you. Look, I've said this a hundred times in these videos. You can plant me in any city, any town, and across the United States, Hawaii, Alaska. It doesn't matter, right? I can grab a set of leads. I can start making some dials, and I can be out, you know, running appointments that very next day, right? And making sales, which I'll get paid in two or three days. So, you, you know, no matter what goes on in the United States, no matter whether they close the economy down or not, we're able to make a living here, support a very good living, and support our families. That's the point, Right? Look, the one God-given character trait that I was given is the ability to be passionate about certain things in my life. My excitement and passion is not fake. I love this business, and I know what it can do for each of you financially and the lifestyle that you can create in this industry. Look, hundreds of new agents last couple of months, the entire economy was shut down, continue to post record incomes from 10, 15, 20, 30, even $50,000 a month when others are out of work. They're waiting on a stimulus check. And that stimulus check, you and I both know, won't even cover the rent. They're, they're doing this drive-through 
food banks and you know they're scared to death maybe that it's you well i hope this has taught you a lesson it's happened before and will happen again maybe this is a gut check to really figure out you know what can you do today to never be in that situation again and i would suggest that you take a very serious look at our industry right certainly give me a call and take a look at our agency but we're not the only ones out there the industry is huge and it's a lot of money to be made and you can begin to build at something even if you have to go back to work you can go back to work full time and working on this part time. You may not want to earn that kind of money. You may not have any interest in earning fifty thousand dollars a month. I only mention it to tell you that it validates the opportunity, meaning that people are doing it, so you can do it. Just pick a number, whether it's five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand, whatever it is. For me, all my life, I want to make twenty, twenty-five thousand a month because that's what told, my mentor told me. It's when life really begins, right? That's what he said. That, you know, when you make twenty-five thousand dollars a month, see if life really starts to happen there. So that's what my goal always is. You know why I'm passionate about the money you can make? Because money is the scoreboard. It's, it's also what we use to create our lifestyle and provide for us and our loved ones and our family. If somebody's doing you and I can do it, right? Nothing separates us. This is not a business only for smart people. In fact, I would suggest that smart people, generally speaking, don't survive here because they come in here and want to make it way too complicated. Also, it, it allows me to move myself and motivate myself to lift myself. Why? It's simple. I don't like bill collectors. And I don't like that sick feeling of that knot in my stomach when I get a bill I cannot pay. Listen, no one has power over you that you do not give them. And being in debt gives them that power. And I hate being in the mercy of a debtor that I owe money to. I want to always be in the power position, don't you? Right? Don't you I mean I don't want to be scared of the mailbox and what comes in? And that's the, that's why I've stayed in this business for so many years. I know I can go out and make X amount of dollars every single week if I need to and when I need to. Right? Someone once told me if you can solve the problem by writing a check, it's not a problem; it's a challenge. That's a big difference. Challenges we can deal with. Financial problems where we cannot solve them by writing a check can ruin our lives, our marriages, our relationships, and how we feel about life is most important and about ourselves every day we wake up. Ask yourself, how important is having control over your life, over your finances? Maybe getting rid of the job, spending more time doing the things that you love, maybe more time with your life, your kids, right? Your parents, whatever it is. You have to ask yourself, how bad do you want these things? Do you want them bad enough to not care what somebody thinks of you, right? You think the veteran thought when he got went aboard an airplane and flew into the country in the middle of a war that you know, you know what you know maybe I will never come back. I'm sure he did, but they didn't focus on because they had a job to do. They did that to, to make sure that their kids and family, even if he didn't come back, were able to live free in the United States of America. You got to ask yourself: Do you want them bad enough to not care what someone else thinks about you? Do you want to be successful? Do you want to own your income versus renting it so bad you no longer care what some stranger on the other side of that phone really thinks? If you do care, maybe some of you just don't want the success bad enough. Let me put this another way. If that lead was standing between you and you feeding your kids, saving your home or your marriage, would you care that much then? There was a young man who wanted to make a lot of money. He told the guru that he went to, I want to be on the same level that you're on. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level that I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. The man thought, the beach? I said I want to make more money. I don't want to swim. But the young man got there at 4 a.m. all ready to rock and roll. The old guru grabbed his head. How bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. So the guru said, walk out into the water. So he walks out in the water about waist deep. He said to himself, this man's crazy. I want to make money. He's got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. I want to be successful. The guru said, come out here a little bit further. So he did. He was right about the shorter area of the water length. He thought, this old guru is crazy. He's making money, but he's crazy. The guru said, come out a little further. He came out a little further. He was right here in his mouth. The water was floating right here. The young man was like, I'm about to go back in. This man's out of his mind. But the guru shouted and said, I thought you wanted to be successful. And the young man said, I do. The guru said, walk a little further. He came and the guru dropped his head into the water. He held him down and the man holding him under, the man was scratching, clawing, fighting to get out. The guru kept him down in the water. And just before the young man was about to pass out, the guru raised him up and the guru said, I've got a question for you. When you were underwater, what was the only thing that you wanted to do more than anything? And the man said, 
I wanted to breathe. The guru said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then, and only then, will you be successful. This kind of illustrates exactly where I'm coming from today, just before Memorial Day 2020. You see, that's where I've been all along with my videos with all of you. We have to be willing to do his best as much in ourselves as we do in our education about this business and being successful in mortgage session, final expenses, and financial services. Write this down everywhere. Be relentless. I love that. Be intentional. Right? Wake up tomorrow morning with a plan of action. We have 50% of 2020 left. Let's make something of it. Do you ever wonder why some people see success as quicker than others and some end up quitting? Can I just tell you something? It's not the leader. It is desire. It's your need. It's your action. If anyone tells you that the secret to winning is anything else, they're only misleading you. If you have a good education, great. But you won't win without desire. If you have talent, great. But talent alone won't help you if you don't have desire. If you have desire, you can win in spite of everything. Having desire to succeed is a secret that most people miss, but it's more than that. You've got to be all in. No plan Bs. Don't plan for your eventual failure. What measure are you sending yourself? Telling your heart. I would argue that desire is not enough. You have to be in a place where desire is a must. It's just like breathing. You have to succeed. See, people, there's a lot of people who have desire, but they're not willing to show up. If you don't have the desire to do whatever it takes, no matter what, to change your destiny on this life, there is not much I can do, our training can do, or our opportunity can do. But if you do, and you want to change your life bad enough, no obstacle, no win, can blow you off course. Think about it. Desire is the key. With desire and a no-quit attitude, there is nothing you can't have in America today because of the people that fought for our freedom. As long as you combine that with a goal and a plan on how to accomplish it, you can never be all in if you are planning on your next venture. Winners just refuse to quit and they want to be on the battlefield with the rest of their team. They don't sit on the sidelines and speculate. Does that make sense to all of you? That is why our team motto, I will until do whatever it takes, no matter what. You see, here is what I know. I don't care if that lead that I'm calling likes me or not. Don't get me wrong. I prefer that everybody likes me. That's my personality, just like yours. But at the end of the day, I am not willing to put my entire life in their hands by allowing them to derail me from my success. It is yes or no and forget the maybes. We're gold panners here. We put a bunch of leads into our sifter and we start moving the shaker back and forth, right? Until 15 appointments drop out of the bucket and into my calendar. And every week we put the same leads we have plus new ones back in that shifter. We start shaking again until 15 more leads fall out into our calendar. We do this every week. We get none to the process. We match the mundane in this business. Those are the secrets. Doesn't even occur to me to care, right? That I should even care. I don't take it personally. It's like an ant doesn't care what stands in its way on the way to the feast. Neither should you or I. Ever watched an ant do that? You can never stop an ant. You drop a, a rock with right under those ants, and what do they do? They go around the rock and they keep heading to the destination. That's a powerful vision we should keep in our minds that you can't stop a parade of marching ants. No matter what you do, they're going to go around the obstacle, keep dropping obstacles, they're going to go around the obstacles, and they're going to keep moving forward. Just go around and keep moving. Okay, I want to leave you with this. I know it's been a rather long video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it stirs a little bit of you to, to take action. If you're undecided or you're stuck somewhere, you're not getting any training, not getting any support, the leads are crap, pick up the phone, text me, email me, call me, let's connect. I'm here to help you. It always comes back to this one simple point, which is, the way we move forward, each one of us, and as a team, right, in this industry, is we move from survival to success one step at a time. If you can't run, you walk. If you can't walk, you crawl. Eventually, if you keep your mind and your efforts focused on the activities and not the results, the results you're getting at the time, don't focus on those. You will soon be able to stand, to walk, to jog, and to run again. It is a fact that you can't go from being knocked flat on the ground to running in a single breath. You'll need time to recover, to clear your head, but you keep moving forward, even if you're slow at first. Why? 
because at the end of the day, real knowledge comes from activity. This business is entirely about lead flow and activity. It's not about being smart, not having a good education. It's not about your skin color, the clothes you wear, the car you drive, or where you went to high school, where you went to college. It's about lead flow and activity, being coachable, having a good work ethic, and having a massive, massive desire and need to succeed. Right? We have to learn to be content on the mountaintop and content in the valley. And that's always been my struggle. So until the pain of the same becomes greater than the pain of change, you're, nothing's ever going to change. you got to decide enough is enough. Water boils at 212 degrees. Stay 212 degrees. That is the temperature it takes to boil water and do it for 90 days. Focus. If you really want to be in this business and you really want to succeed, give it everything you've got every day you wake up for 90 days. And I guarantee you, you won't recognize your life after 90 days financially. And in the meantime, you become a better person. That's life's golden ticket. And if you understand the vision, it can be yours as well. Winners know how many days they have until the end of the month. And they set a goal in mind that they must hit. They don't cruise into the month end. They don't let up until they're giving 150% of everything they have to not miss the goals they set. Because it's not about the goal. It's about what you're telling yourself by your activity level and by your relentless commitment to not accepting what life is willing to give you, but demanding what you will accept as success here and nothing less. And you do that by pushing back against the winds of resistance. The winds of resistance are those in respect of our persons. We all get them. When they blow, and they will blow, you've got to stand against winds of resistance to stay the course and stay in the lane and stay on your path. You can bet on it. They will come. And they always come when you're heading in the right direction and they knock the weak off the path. Stay the course. You can go from where you are right now, from where you're sitting at this moment right now watching this video, to a place you don't recognize in a few short months if you just begin and get started. Your life is worth it. <clears throat> Imagine if money was not an option. The money that was not the deciding factor, what you do with your friends or family. Would your life be different? When you're chasing your dreams, you'll encounter plenty of problems. Don't beat yourself up. Going through adversity means you'll never be the same. You're going to be better. Make the most of what you and I have been given by God and the veterans that defend our freedoms and defend this country. Do me a favor in closing. If you got something from today's video, if it challenged you a little bit, right? if it moved you to a different place, even for a moment to see what life could be if you owned your income and didn't rent it, give me a thumbs up. If you're in a situation where you're, where you're somewhere, you're in this industry already, not making any money, struggling, no support, bad leads, no training, and you're looking to, to make a move, give me a call, right? We'll discuss it. Maybe you're a fit here, maybe you're not, but I can help you and guide you where it would be a better fit for you given your individual goals. If you're brand new to the industry, we can talk and see if it's really something you want to embark on. But whatever you choose to do, this industry or not, do something that... You can build on something and you can eventually own your income that no one can ever take away from you again. Bye-bye. Happy Memorial Day 2020.